Hey, what's up, people? Um, back with my second tip. Um, hopefully, I've learned, um, made some mistakes on my first video. So hopefully, I've learned my mistakes. Um, uh, I've learned from my mistakes, and I'm uh, gonna try to do a better job this time. Um, now, this video is gonna be about compressing um, your pictures or zipping your pictures so that that way you can email email them to a person. Um, now, since I'm starting on XP, just let me get right to it. Generally, your pictures. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is a lot of people have problems with this because generally they want to e people want to email their pictures. They want to email more than one at one time, but there are a lot of people who don't know how to zip them or compress them. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows 7, and the way you do it in Windows 7 is also pretty much the way you do it in Windows uh, Vista. And it's actually very similar in um, XP, but I'm going to just so I'll show you. I have an XP window right here. This is called a virtual PC um, uh, window XP and XP mode. If you see the XP mode up here, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can get the magnify thing. See, I have this. Uh, there's a there's an application called Magnify that you can actually run in Windows 7 that will magnify the screen. So hopefully you guys will get a better look at what stuff looks like when I magnify it use the magnify screen I hope you don't get confused by what's going on this is on a, it's not a Windows XP um, function this is a Windows um, 7 um, function but things I'm just showing this to you so you know that first I'm going to do um, show you how to compress your um, pictures in Windows 7 and then I'm going to show you how to compress them in Windows XP so let me just minimize this window right now let me start with Windows 7 now the first thing is you have to go to the folder where your pictures are. Now generally that folder is in the you know, My Pictures folder, which is right here. Now some of you, your, your My Pictures folder might be um, might be in a different directory because a lot of times people will put an SD card in and uh, it'll, sometimes your programs you like, a lot of you have digital cameras, your digital camera will create their own personal folders. So hopefully you know what that is on your hard drive, but if you don't know what it is on your hard drive, you could click up here. Um, actually not in this one, but maybe in a higher level window. And type JP, JPEG or JPG, that stands for JPEG, which stands for Joint Photographers Exporters Group, something like that. Basically what it is, is uh, it's a format where your pictures can be compressed and then decompress and still have a lot of that nice resolution it's not what you call a lossless because you do lose some stuff when you um, compress your pictures um, with JPEG but it still does a pretty good job and that's why so many people use it and is used all over the web and I believe now all of these are JPEG this one is a GIF PNG I think portable network graphics GIF stands for graphics interchange format I believe and these other two are JPEG I'm just gonna compress these the way I'm going to do it, so I'm just going to select them. Like so. Then I'm going to right click on them. Go to where it says send to. It says send to compress folder. You can click this. And there it is. It now you see how how the name is highlighted? It used this name Office to 2010. Now I don't know how it selects the, the names but it usually takes the name of one of your files and names it names it dot zip for a zip file and if you look at the folder in fact let me see if I can magnify that for you if you look at this folder it looks like a yellow folder with a um, an actual zipper on it that's how zip folders look now let me hit enter let me just leaving that name right there I'm not going to change the name of office 2010 product key zip this is what zip folders look like and once you have a zip like this it basically has the size uh, let me leave it on there now you can see the size it says 384 kilobytes that's the combined size of all four of those pictures zip you can uh, attach that file to your email program and send it and the person who gets it can unzip it and they'll get those four pictures and let's say that you di you didn't see the the um, prompt come giving you the size. You go to properties. You, you could right click on this. Go down to properties. And you can also get the size of it from this. The reason why you need the size sometimes is because sometimes the files might be really big. Um, you don't want to flood out somebody's um, email um, inbox with sending them a really really big file. Um, 
I used to like um, try to make my files 10 megabytes or less but a lot of people at Yahoo and Gmail email programs have much bigger storage I think um, Gmail gives you like 7 gigabytes and I think Yahoo gives you a bunch of gigabytes anyway so you can actually send larger files but the larger files you send the more time it will take to upload when you're actually sending them out so I guess it's up to you to decide what what, what is too big or uh, but I wouldn't send any, definitely wouldn't send anything that was like a gigabyte like you know a gigabyte worth of pictures to anybody um, I believe they have um what do they call them Flickr or, or other sites where they let you upload all your pictures and that way people you want to look at the pictures can actually go to the site and download them um, that's more or less really an, what's called an FTP function file transfer protocol thing but either way you know that's another way to get your pictures to someone and just remember the path like this Chris my pictures you go to my pictures when you want to attach this that you have to remember where it's at when you want to uh, attach it to email to send it to someone now that I've shown you how to do this in Windows 7 just close this I'll do the same thing in Windows XP now in Windows XP we'll go to the my pictures folder uh, my pictures there goes my pictures and here we go I'll select these right click go down to send to send to is taking a while to display okay now go compress zip folder and it creates it with the exact same name most in product key zip and as you see it's not that different right click properties 384 well, let me also magnify this so you guys can see it properties 384 and all you have to remember in this this case is the uh, path to see document settings document my documents my pictures generally um, you always see be, if you as long as you're able to see my documents you can generally get to my pictures you should be able to, like when you want to attach to the email you just oh and the way the person um, unzips this and basically I've got to tell you that the zip thing is built in I've seen people at Windows XP who have like um, they, they download utilities the zip and unzip files you don't need utilities with XP from XP Vista and Windows 7 being able to compress and uncompress files or zip or unzip files is built into the operating system so you don't need an extra utility unless you want to do something like put it you know, like make them encrypted and you know put encryption keys on them and stuff then you probably need an extra utility because I don't believe Windows offers that within the um, then operating system Excel itself but if you want to unzip the file most people already know how to do this just right click and you see this where it says extract all let me magnify this so that way everyone can get to see it but right click extract all extract all will generally give you this welcome to the blah 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 actually um, Windows 7 doesn't give you all of this but it uh, pretty much does the same thing it, it's going to create another directory and say finish and this is the folder with the files it creates another folder and shows you the files and I'm not going to show you that with um with Windows 7 because it's pretty much the same thing but Windows 7 is a lot less steps you uh, go to extract all to open them up so if someone sends you um, a compressed file that's how you open it up uh, just one more word of advice you can generally scan um, files be, you know, you got a lot of your email scan your scanning your antivirus programs will scan your email anyway but sometimes it's good to like scan it with whatever you want um, you can scan it for viruses before you open it up like if I were to click right here I use a virus internet security of us would scan it before I tried to open it up or I tried to extract all the files that are in it
and that's the tutorial and I hope you guys um have um I've done a better job this time around. I hope you guys have gotten something out of it. Thanks for listening. Peace.